Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. It is such a beautiful day out today. I just wanted to find a nice cozy spot by the water and hang out and relax. And Three Bridges Bar and Grill is exactly that. It is a restaurant surrounded by water and I love going there. So I figured we'd go on out, we'd eat some food, have some drinks and just have a beautiful Coronado Springs kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. And here it is, Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. I love this resort, it's so beautiful, and I always love coming to visit. This resort has the most lounges, bars, and restaurants where you can get stuff to eat at than any other Disney resort, and that's because it's a conference center as well as a resort, and the place that we're going is Three Bridges, but we might hop around and check out some of the other ones because they're all beautiful, and I love actually just hanging out here. Coronado Springs is one of the largest resorts on Disney property and like I mentioned they have tons of different like little bars and lounges and restaurants and the one that we're going to be going to Three Bridges is located right in the center here and it's connected by these three bridges that's why it's got its little nickname but this is Coronado Springs at a whole it's just such a huge resort this is all of it right here I know a lot of you have been asking why I haven't made a video for the Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. I did go there and eat on opening day and I was having some technical difficulties. I wasn't feeling myself so I didn't want to force it and I figured I would just come back a little bit later and it will give them time to work out any kinks or anything that was kind of messing it up because when a restaurant first opens up they are super overwhelmed. They're trying to execute on so many different levels. Levels. So, you know, I've been hearing mixed reviews. Some people say they liked it. Some people said they didn't like it. I thought it was fun. I think once they actually get the ball moving a little bit, I think it's going to get a little better. I mean, f for what I tried, I would say Polite Pig and uh, the American uh, Regal Eagle Barbecue is probably the best barbecue still on property. But I'm definitely going back. I'm going to make a video and we're going to give them time to develop things a little bit. Enough of the rodeo business. I really hope I didn't disappoint you guys. I do plan on going back though. I'm definitely going to give it a little time once I get back from all my travels that are coming up. And uh, I'll make a little video. I'm really excited to make a video though. Three Bridges opens up at 4.30 and they utilize a walk-up list. So we actually have to go and put our name on the list and hopefully it's not a long wait. But people really do wait because it's a really nice, comfy, cozy spot. I've never really paid attention to the flowers here at Coronado Springs, but these are beautiful. I've never seen plants like this before. Look, you got a little bee right there too. He must like them as well. Let me see that little bee. Come here, friend. I won't hurt you. Ooh, they're actually a little pricky. I, I know the bee wasn't going to sting me, but I wasn't shocked that that was going to actually hurt a little bit. But look at these things. I should look up what they are. They're so beautiful. I'm gonna actually make my way over to the restaurant so we can put our name in on the list. We're gonna be joining up with some friends later on, but I do wanna go around and explore. They have an awesome pool and a couple of other spots where you can actually see the fireworks from. Up on top of the tower, they have the Dolly Lounge, and that's always a good one too, but I'm already liking it already. I'm already in the mood right now. Like I mentioned, it is such a beautiful day today and the temperature is in the 90s and I've been already hanging out outside but a couple of my friends were like, hey, let's go do something and we all agreed on here because it's such a cool spot and I decided to get all dressed up. Oh, I gotta show you the fit check because I'm feeling, I'm feeling like sunny fresh today. I have to show you guys the fit check. I've got the Roosevelt's tux on, look at this. This is my favorite summertime attire right here. And we have made it to the restaurant. Our table is ready. There was no wait. And I also wanna point out that this is open 4.30 p.m. till midnight. This is one of the latest uh, running, like one of the latest open restaurant and bar lounges here at Disney. And then I wanna show you guys a quick look at the menu too. They have some great items on the menu itself. They've got braised pork tacos, coconut curry chicken, steak frites, the Three Bridges signature burger, house-made guacamole. Oh, that sounds good. They have a nice sangria collection here. In fact, they do a sangria university here where you can create your own sangria and you get a little certificate when you graduate. 
The Sangria University is on Saturdays and Sundays before the restaurant opens and you can sign up in the lobby and it's really cool so you should check it out. And then also I wanted to point out how long these bridges are. Look at that. I mean this stretches all the way to the center of the, the water itself and before this was built you just had to walk around the water so you'd have to do like a whole lap around the whole entire resort to get to the pool. I also love how they have this little garden in front of the restaurant. This is floating on the water itself. I don't know if you can see it, but I like how they have like these little wind. I don't even know what you would call them. Wind instruments? <laughs> Look at that though. It kind of fits perfectly. I wonder what you do call them. I, I, you know, anymore I should just Google things instead of just talking like I do, because then I say <laughs> like the things wrong. Wind instruments. Maybe I'm right though. Maybe I'm right. All right, we're gonna head on in, get to our table, meet up with our friends now. It's definitely time. I showed you a bit of the menu outside, but I think I'm gonna get the house-made guacamole and then maybe the steak frites. I don't know, I think I had them before and I think they were pretty good. I remember the paprika fries. And then to drink, I decided on getting the sangria flight. I'm not even a big sangria drinker, but it comes with four of their house-made sangrias for $22, and I like that. The guacamole and chips actually arrived, and then Promise and Travis ended up getting the corn dip down there. Look at this, Look at this corn with the little, you know, your favorite oh. cheese on top. It's corn. It's cone. It's cone. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, I actually recently started liking guacamole. The first time I had guacamole was at La Cava uh, in Epcot and I fell in love. I never ate guacamole before and now any place I go that actually has guacamole, I order it because I gotta know what it tastes like and they all do taste different. Some of them I like better than the other ones. La Cava is always gonna be the top of the list for me but I'm excited to see what this one's gonna be like. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna like this guacamole though because I like it chunky and this doesn't look chunky. It looks really well blended though at least. I like it chunky, chunky. <laughs> it's a song. <laughs> yes, I like them chunky. <laughs> We're gonna give it a go though. Mm. This is much more limeier than I thought. You can really taste the lime in there. I actually like it. I didn't think I was gonna like it. This is really good. It's not better than La Cava's guacamole, but I do like it. Like at least it's not like overly like spicy. It's like a mild, but with a lot of lime in there. I don't know, there's something different about La Cava that it just makes their guacamole stand out. And I don't know what it is. I don't know what magic ingredient is in there. Very good smash. Look at my sangria flight floating at the bottom there. This is something fancy, I can tell you that. And that Modelo looks amazing. Look at that. That's nice and crisp. And here is a look at the sangria flight. Now, honestly, I've not had much sangria in my life, so I'm kind of excited to try some of it because maybe I'll like it. Up top is the sparkling one. I got a nice little list down here, and then we've got the white one right here, and they said I should start from the top. So we've got sparkling, then we've got the white, then we got the rosé, and then we've got the uh, red here. And that's about all I know about it. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna try it and see which one you know might stand out. I might maybe I like sangria. I mean, who knows? All right, here we go. The first one. We're doing. Gotta go to your left. <laughs> I couldn't get it out of there. But this is the first one. It's the sparkling one. I don't know how to. Ooh, there's some ice cubes in there. I think there's a strawberry in there too. It has peach liqueur. Peach liqueur in here. Oh, that's refreshing. That is delicious, like refreshing. I like this. It's not. It's not too sweet though. Like it's more like a, a bubbly. Like it. it mm -mm. It's not whiny. I like it. All right, now it's time for the Blanco White. 
And honestly, I feel like I got such a great deal. $22 and I'm trying all four of them. A pitcher of just one is $39. So, uh, so far I've been impressed with the sparkling one. And now we're gonna try the white one right here. There we go. This is what I was doing before. I needed to bring it out though. I need to bring it out. We're going with the white one now. Uh, I don't like this one as much as the other one. It's pretty good, but it's got like a passion fruit afterbirth to it. And I don't know, I just, it doesn't sit with me too well. Michael Scott would be proud, but honestly, like I said, I just didn't like the passion fruit in there or the elderflower. So now I'm gonna move along to the rose, and this one actually has citrus vodka in it and mango rum. Citrus vodka, mango rum. Oh, I keep on doing that. And then it also has like a little raspberry in there, it looks like. Yeah, the raspberries, the schnozberries taste like schnozberries. <laughs> I try to use all my fanciness here. Mm. I should be holding it. Oh, that was good. Yep, that's good. I like this one. Mm -hmm. This is actually really good. I like this one a lot. I'm honestly a fan of Sangria, I feel like. I didn't think I was going to like any of these, really, but this is actually really good. This one definitely had more of a juicy, like, uh, taste to it. And now it's time to move along to the red. The good old red. And this one comes with a little orange in there. And I like it. Here's a, here's a little bit of the description for you. I don't know. A lot of people said this is the one that I'm probably going to like most. Look at that. I got it on the first try. <laughs> I'm sitting with a bunch of sangria experts, and they tell me this one is the more traditional. Traditional? Here, here. Oh, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Is that what's it? Is, that's what most sangrias taste like. Really? Oh. Maybe I don't like sangria. That. <laughs> Maybe not. I like those things though. I love that first one. The sparkling one was great and I love the rosé one. I actually drank all the sparkling one, but yeah, that's what a traditional sangria tastes like then. I guess I don't like them. The steak fritz has arrived and I opted in to get the uh, 12 ounce cut, which I found out is just two six ounce cuts. And then here's the paprika french fries. I feel like they changed the french fries since the last time I had it. I think they were thin fries, weren't they? Yep. Yeah. These are like a lot thicker, but you can see all that paprika on there. It is a lot. And I can't wait to dive in. I finished up all of my uh, sangrias almost, except for this one. I don't like it too much in that one. So I guess just those two. <laughs> all right, let's get down to steak business here. Just like the Ritz. Steak Fritz. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I'm gonna grab a middle piece. You never start at the end. You always go for the middle first. Got nice grill marks. Get some of that chimichurri in there. I had this before. There, look at that. One bite. The french fries are amazing. I love it, full of seasoning. And it's actually really, really good. I wish they were a little bit thinner. But I'm not the biggest fan of the steak, only because I don't like this type of steak. Like, and also it's cooked a little bit too, like, done for me. I don't know what they're cooking it on back there. I just don't like a skirt steak. I want something a little bit more, a little bit more fattier, maybe like a ribeye or something like that. But I know that that's not what steak fritz is. So, you know, but I still enjoy it. As we were enjoying our little beverages and snacks, it looks like we're getting a sun shower. Look at this. Wow, so we might have to wait a little bit. Everyone's gonna flock over here. It's gonna get really busy here. It's not gonna rain long though, it's Florida. You can see it's all like moving really fast there, but it's really pretty. And I like the smell. I like the smell of the rain. All I can say is my life is pretty plain. Kristen has now discovered a new hack to go with the steak fritz. You can get some uh, some soft uh, tortilla shells and make your own tacos. Yeah, we didn't really like the taste of the steak that much, so I figured we could maybe make some steak tacos with the guacamole and it tastes a little better. 
All right, enough of Three Bridges. I really do love it there. It's so much fun. The steak fritz wasn't my favorite, only because of the meat. The chimichurri sauce was fantastic, but uh, also the paprika fries I liked a lot as well. And now I kind of am in the mood for a little coffee, you know? A nice little coffee after a rainstorm to pick me up a little bit. And they have a good coffee spot right in the lobby, so I think we're going to head in there now. This is the lobby inside the Grand Destino Tower. And look how beautiful this is. I always like pointing it out. It's a really nice spot to come and sit and just kind of lounge out a little bit. They got a nice little espresso machine over there. See how I said that with an S and not an X, but I think I'm gonna get myself a cold brew. It's a nice hot day. A little cold brew sounds perfect. They actually have sweet vanilla cream, like an actual sweetened creamer here. And the cold brew is not too bad itself, so it's got fancier creamer than they do at any of the other resorts. I don't think I've ever seen sweet cream anywhere except for here, and I like it. I want to actually go up to the Dolly Lounge and show you guys the view from up there. But remember I was telling you this place has the most like dining and lounges? Look at all this spot. It actually has a scrolling menu to show you how much, and there was a whole screen before that. So there is definitely a lot, and of course the pool bar over there. These elevators have like predetermined spots. Like I know I'm going all the way up, so you have to press the button, but when you get in, they don't have a spot to press the buttons. It always trips me out. But we're going all the way up to the 16th floor. They have two spots up here on the 16th floor. They have Toledo and then they have the Dolly Lounge. But I just want to show you the view from the Dolly Lounge because it's incredible. Right here is the Dolly Lounge and I'll take you guys right out these doors here. It is so beautiful up here. Wait till you see this view. Look at that. You got Tower of Terror right in the center there. You've got Disney's Hollywood Studios. You can see Star Wars, Galaxy's Edge right there. See a little Epcot over there. We're up there pretty high. It's a little scary actually. And on this side you can actually see Animal Kingdom. You can see Expedition Everest there. And then Blizzard Beach there. And you can watch the fireworks. You can see the fireworks from Epcot over there and also you can see the fireworks uh, that usually are Hollywood Studios, but they're not big fireworks just little ones I think we're gonna leave Coronado Springs now and keep moving along and make our way over to a park Maybe Epcot maybe Hollywood Studios, but first I do want to run home walk Gracie and change out my outfit I ended up getting a little bit on this shirt <laughs> I mean what else is new, but uh, yeah gonna go home check on Gracie girl and then uh, continue the fun into the evening where's my Gracie girl you want to go for a walk huh come on let's go for a walk Woohoo! <laughs> I am loving this daylight savings time change it is almost seven o'clock out and it's beautiful I am all for keeping it like this all year round. I know they were going to try to pass a bill where we would eliminate the uh, time change. But Florida, man, Florida thrives during the daytime. Like, you want to see that sunshine. It's in the name of the state. So I hope that they maybe in the future do it. Gives me and Gracie more time to enjoy our evening strolls. A little carousel of progress Easter egg for you there. And just like that... We're in Epcot, and I think I want to do something that I haven't done in such a long time, and that's ride the Epcot monorail. I actually want to ride the monorail as it does its grand circle tour of Epcot, and we can see like the Moana construction and all of the stuff that used to be in old future world. So I think we're going to go do that. I haven't been on the Epcot monorail in, like, I, I can't even remember. I never travel to Epcot from the TCC because that's what the Epcot monorail is. You can ride it anytime you want and it's just a direct line from Magic Kingdom well, from TTC to Epcot. So we're going to actually take it to TTC and then back over here so we can see what it's like going on behind the walls in Epcot. I like this idea. 
Right there's the monorail sign, but I've been actually looking at the prices for tickets recently, and holy moly, $164 for one day at Magic Kingdom. Wow. I mean, that is definitely, and, and if you want a park hopper, it's $224 a day. $224 a day, and you still can't park hop until after 2 p.m. Things are changing, I tell ya. <laughs> And it looks like a monorail just got in the station, so we're just in time. Good old monorail teal. I like it. Most of the good stuff is when we actually make our way back into Epcot. So I'm just gonna enjoy the ride for now. years of me coming to the Walt Disney World Resort and riding the monorail, I've always looked down at the water, always wondering if I would ever see an alligator. Like when I used to vacation here, because I thought alligators were like everywhere, you know what I mean, in Florida? And to this day, so how many times I have rode the monorail, I've never seen an alligator from the monorail. Let me know if you have though. It's nice to see the trams running there. You know, it's funny that all the tram services aren't back yet. I know Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom, I think, are the only two. Oh, we're coming into station. We're coming into TTC. This is also the fastest monorail. It picks up the highest top speed compared to the other ones on the Magic Kingdom Resort loop. And I love coming on this ride. I forgot how nice it was. The scenery is beautiful. All right, it's time to make our way back to Epcot now. What do you think they're building right here? Right in the parking lot. We have made it back to Epcot. Look at that. Yeah, see that's what we're came to see. Wow, it looks so different. I see lots of porta potties in there. This is where the new Mickey and the uh, Figment meet and greet are gonna be inside that building right there. And then on the other side of it is gonna be the Moana exhibit. Look at it, it's so fun seeing this. Look at that. Oh, oh, here it comes, Moana exhibit. Wow, there's a walkway open. I haven't seen that before. That was fancy. That was such a nice little ride, and they have a walkway open that's in between the lands. I want to go check that out. We went from seeing this in the monorail to being right here, right in front of it. We're in Epcot now, officially in Epcot, because you don't have to go into the park to ride the monorail. So I actually just touched in. I am so happy that they have a pathway now that you can walk like behind Spaceship Earth and go from one side to the next. That's amazing. Oh, I thought we could walk that way, but it looks like we've been access denied. We're just gonna head into the uh, forest here. I was mistaken. I thought you could walk from one side to the other, but you can't. It only takes you right over to Spaceship Birth, and that's it. I don't even know why they opened it up, but it is a closer look at uh, Moana here. Right here is where the walkway actually separates. It used to be you can only go down that way, but now you have two exits. One to the left, one to the right. I wish that would take you right on the other side of Future World, but uh, not yet. And we're really, I mean, look at that. 
now that I am in Epcot, I really don't know what I'm doing. I came because it was so nice out and I didn't want to sit at home and I just figured maybe come on out to Epcot and something will pop up and we'll take it from there. So I guess I'm going to head into World Showcase. I honestly don't really need to do anything. I just kind of like being here. <laughs> I mean, it's just the atmosphere, the music, seeing all the people, smelling all the food. And now I think I'm getting hungry again. This is exactly what I was talking about. You really don't need anything to do. You just gotta come and enjoy the views. Look at that, it's beautiful. The Skyliner, the nice sunset happening there, the Paris music. I wish I could be down there drawing a picture though. I've literally just been power walking through World Showcase and I just come across the Pointer Sisters. The Pointer Sisters are actually playing tonight. I guess you can say I'm so excited. I mean, the Pointer Sisters are here. I mean, and look at the night for a little live music. I cannot believe what time it is. It's literally past eight o'clock and look at this. That's crazy. It looks so beautiful out right now. We didn't stick around to watch the Pointer Sisters, but I hope you guys liked my little pun there. I thought it was cleverly placed. And now we made our way all the way back out front. We did a full lap around World Showcase, and now we are at the Connections Eatery. And I think I'm gonna get myself a slice of pizza. If I was able to actually get pizza from Via Napoli, I probably would go over there, or even the pizza window, but I decided on getting the pizza here, and I hear that they actually changed it since it first opened. From what I remember, the pizza here actually used to be a thick crust pizza and they changed it. Now it's a little bit thin. It's a little thinny thin. This is definitely different pizza from the last time I had it. It's not too sturdy though. The under crust is definitely a little bit floppy there, but I'm still excited to try it. Here we go. It is definitely a greasy piece of pizza though. Look at that. You can see it's like shimmering. Shimmering greasy pizza. We got ourselves a slice of pizza. It wasn't the best pizza, but I enjoyed it. And now we're gonna start heading out. Harmonious is playing in the background. It's the last time I'm gonna hear it or probably see it. There it is, Harmonious. This is my last time seeing it. It's gonna officially be done, I think, April 2nd, just a couple days away, but I won't be here for it. I got much greater things to come. And with that, we are done here today. I'm sorry, I know this video is kind of all over the place, but it's kind of a, a nice, chilled, relaxed day. Just kind of like I said in the beginning, beautiful weather out. The Coronado Springs was amazing. Epcot was fun, hanging out with friends and just, just enjoying living in Florida. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.